Aisha with the BH here on YouTube, One Name Real Life, and welcome or welcome back to my channel, and welcome to another hair product review. So, I have here the bread box. <laughs> um, this brand is called Bread. I have seen it recently, like in Sephora, but I haven't really seen like a lot of, um, what can you say? I've seen it in Sephora, but I haven't really seen any reviews or anything on it. Um, and I haven't seen like a lot of marketing, I guess you could say, for the product. Like it hasn't like popped up on my Instagram feed. So um, I decided to pick it up. I didn't really know what I wanted to get. I knew I wanted to get the hair mask for sure, but I wasn't really sure about like other things that I wanted to get. So I just went ahead and got the, um, the whole box kit. It comes with hair wash, hair mask, hair oil, and bread puff. Um, for your hair or your wrists. It says it's in hair care basics for not so basic hair, an edit of your wash day essentials for soft, healthy strands, plus a bonus bread puff. So um, I'm excited to use it. So let's get, oh, let's get this bread. <laughs> That's funny, look at that. Let's get this bread. Um, that's hilarious. All right, so the first product is the hair wash. Now the hair wash is a light marshmallow-like cream that transforms into a gentle lather for clean but soft strands. It can help take care of buildup and debris without causing knottiness, crispy dryness, or stripping your hair of natural oils. It's specifically formulated with aloe vera and argan oil to work its gentle but effective magic on hair that is thick, curly, coily, afro textured, or generally dry and dehydrated. Apply to wet hair in sections, gently lather, and rinse. So this is actually perfect um, because my hair is very much crusty right now. It's very crunchy. Um, so this is going to be perfect. The hair mask. The hair mask cushions hair in cloud-like softness. Hair mask is a velvety, lightweight, but powerful emulsion for soft, moisturized curls, whilst it's heavy on good things like Australian cockadoo plum and star flower oil. This light to the touch cream will leave your curls hydrated and buttery smooth without weighing them down. Easy, simple, smells good, like bread. After cleansing with hair wash, apply to wet hair in sections, leave on for five to 10 minutes, gently detangle and rinse. Next up is the bread hair oil. Hair oil is a silicone free oil blend for everyday multi-way use. Delicately soft but powerful, this multi-purpose oil with Australian cockadoo plum helps provide an anti-greasy pro glossy feel for the softest, smoothest, dewiest looking strands. Apply to wet hair after rinsing out hair masks or in between washes to help give shine and slip to your hair strands. For an added boost to your next wash day, apply all over dry hair and scalp as a pre-wash treatment. Leave on for at least two hours before washing hair. So I don't have two hours to wait and leave this on. So I'm not gonna do the pre-wash treatment. I would have loved to do it because I kind of need it, but um, I'm not gonna do it just because, child, I don't have time. And then the bread puff. So this is not what I was expecting. It's cute, um, but it's super like, I don't know, it's not like, it's just big. <laughs> it's cute though, very cute. For your hair or wrist, Bread Puff is an elastic band encased in puffy satin fabric, better known as a scrunchie or chow chow, extra stretchy, choo choo, chow chow? Extra stretchy, <laughs> stretchy elastic for all the hair. Used to wear your hair up or put on your wrist as an accessory. Gently cold hand wash to refresh your puff. All right, so let's get this washed in. Let's get in the shower and get this going. The hair cleanser and the creamy deep conditioner. I'm actually gonna take the, sh the oil to the shower too. That way I can um, put it in immediately after. And then depending on how my hair feels, I will most likely go ahead and put in um, some leave-in conditioner. It doesn't come with any, but I have my Taraji P. Henson Ride or Die um, detailing leave-in conditioner. It's my favorite right now. So I'll put this in and then I'll probably end up putting some um, some of the cream that goes to it too. The cream is in Michaela's bathroom so I gotta get it, but I'll probably end up putting that cream in it as well um, after the conditioner. So that's just
I did leave it in for longer than um, five to 10 minutes. It was in for about 20 to 25 minutes because I was detangling and then I went in and washed up. So it probably set for about 20, in between 20 and 25 minutes. Um, but my hair is still wet. I just kind of wringed out excess water as much as I could, but it is still wet. So I'm about to add the oil like it says to do. All right, so this is what I ended up doing to my hair. Basically, I just, my mirror was like super foggy from the shower. Okay, so this is basically what I decided to do. Um, I put in what I think is a good amount of oil. It's kind of hard to get the oil out of this bottle because of the way that it like, it is. Like if you look at it, it has like that little hole and it's kind of like hard to get out of here. You have to like shake it out. Um, but I put on a good amount of hair oil. Uh, my hair feels really good and I feel comfortable enough to go ahead and let my hair dry overnight in a towel with just the oil on. So we will see how it does. Let's show you guys my little ponytail. I've got a little curls popping in the back. But yeah, my hair feels really good. The conditioner or the hair mask. The hair mask had a good amount of slip on it, so I was able to detangle my hair decently with the hair mask um, without like waiting for it to penetrate or set in or anything like that. I literally was able to go in and start detangling my hair, and it detangled pretty smooth and easily. Um, my hair also felt very moisturized, and I only left it in, like I said, for in between 20 and 25 minutes while I was detangling, and then while I was finishing the rest of my shower. So. It felt really good just leaving it on in that time period. I don't know if you can use it like a deep conditioner and leave it on a little bit longer. I might try that in the future, but I also want to try leaving the hair oil on my hair for two hours prior to washing just to get that extra like boost benefit type deal going on. Um, but yes, my hair feels really good as of right now. And I will show you guys close up of how it looks in the morning. Um, almost dry, about dry. Uh, or maybe fully dried. It just kind of depends. It'll probably be fully dried only because I'm gonna throw this towel on my head and then throw a bonnet on and um, Normally when I do that I have other like products in my hair heavier products So it takes a little bit longer for my hair to dry But I don't think it's gonna take a long time since it's literally just oil in my hair um, But let me give you guys a little close-up of how we look It is soft it was easy to just use my tangle teaser, my shower tangle teaser, to pull this back into the ponytail, to the scrunchie. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's got a little shine on it so far. And yeah, so I will let my hair dry and I will see you guys in the morning so you guys can see what it's looking like and then in the morning because I have to go to work I'm obviously gonna have to do my hair so I am gonna add the Taraji P and products on top of this but I'm excited to see like how my hair feels in the morning how it's doing and then I might even try to like detangle it a little bit with like no water and stuff so um yeah we'll see you guys in the wait I have one more thing to say so remember how I was talking about how I was tired of using hair products that smell like food, like avocado, mayonnaise, etc. Why would I, was I even thinking, because why would I pick up something named bread, thinking that it's not going to smell like bread? And it actually smells like bread. Like the, it's only the hair mask. So the wash didn't smell like it. Um, it smelled kind of similar, but it smelled more like nutty. The 
hair wash like the oil the oil smells really good it has some type of fragrance or something in it but the oil smells really good so i'm super excited for this um but the mask smells like bread and at first and the reason why i got it and i was like was not hesitant was because like what what the hell does bread smell like you know what i mean but it smells very yeasty um like you're like dough like you're about to make bread um so yeah it not exactly throwing me off all the way only because the hair oil does smell good so i feel like that's what my hair is gonna end up smelling like my hair is pretty shiny it feels pretty good compared to how i was feeling before i washed it but yeah it does smell like you know like you're about to make some bread so yeah um i just wanted to mention that because i know i had mentioned to you guys before that i was tired of smelling like food like don't nobody want to walk around smelling like mint peppermint and dang on avocados and mayonnaise okay like i'm i was through with it but here we are <laughs> adding bread to the list <laughs> 